just, you know, like working on having a, a more healthy mindset. And I really couldn't do that when this person was around. But it wasn't his fault because I had allowed, I actually allowed the person to stay. And in some way, I know I enabled that person. <sighs> anyway, so recently, not recently, but now that I finally made up the, my mind to just actually, I, tell, I told him to, in a bad way, I, I actually told him to get out. And it wasn't the right way to say it, but it had been, I guess the reason why I said it in the way I did was because out of frustration. And yeah, I was just really frustrated and I had enough and I had been bottling up all these things. And I, I perceived and I felt that I had been compromising a lot of my well-being and my comfortability because I allowed myself to compromise. It was nothing that that person did. I take full responsibility for my actions and it just wasn't sitting right with me. So I inadvertently uh, let it out in, in not a good way. So the person is out now and you know he's he's safely he's he's with his he's staying with his brother and sister in law and his two nieces and they have a big place. His brother has a big place so he's staying in their guest bedroom downstairs and he's got his own bathroom. So it's 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 good. Um I'm just so fortunate that he has a place to stay. I mean, like this is his city. He's been he, he's born here, so he is he has all his family here. So, but you know what? It just feels so good. It felt so good to claim my space back. And ever since then, people have noticed such a big difference in me in my tone of voice. They said that they when they ask me how I, how was how I am or how my weekend. to do this 
走走。